Kenya is under attack from the Fall Army Worm Insect. Farmers in Kenya have been reporting problems of the devastating pest called Fall Armyworm since 2017. Fall Armyworm is a highly destructive insect that feeds on and destroys up to 100 plants and crops including maize. The Fall Armyworm is spreading fast and is quickly becoming one of the biggest threats to economic and food security in Kenya. Up to 2016, Fall Armyworm had only been reported in North and South America. However, in January 2016, the pest was recorded in Nigeria and since then has spread quickly throughout Africa. The Fall Armyworm has now been confirmed in more than 40 African countries, including Kenya. Isipes Thomas Odhiambo Campus at Mbita Point is a leading institute into the research and prevention of many insects, including the fall armyworm. I am here to meet with the senior technician, Dickens Nyagol, to find out more. Now tell me, how big is this fall armyworm problem? The fall armyworm problem is big because uh, it is widespread, it covers everywhere, and also it is it uh, devastates the crop from all stages. And what was the difference between armyworm and fall armyworm? The armyworm which used to exist was coming as an outbreak and would come once in several years. But the fall armyworm, since it came, it is now living with us and living with the farmers in Africa. It is there every year, it is there every season, and the farmers have to find how to manage it every single season. What are farmers doing to try and prevent these attacks from uh, fall armyworm? They try to apply ash. Ash? Ash. They try to spray with homo or aerial. They uh, mix soap with water, detergent. Soap, soap detergent, and they try to uh, spray on the, on the plant. But those, all those are not effective. Could you take us to a shamba where we can see how it destroys the crop? Oh, yes. I will, I'm taking you to the uh, shamba of a farmer where the fall armyworm has completely devastated every single maize plant in the field. Let's go see. <laughs> yes. The eggs of the fall armyworm are laid by the moth and are often found under the leaves near the base of the plant. They can be covered with a layer of scales that looks like cotton thread. Soon after hatching, the young caterpillars will feed on the leaves of the host plant. This usually occurs around the five-leaf stage. One of the signs a farmer can look out for are clear patches on the leaf, like this, called windows. Fully grown caterpillars are the easiest to identify. They have three yellow stripes all along the back and an upside-down Y shape on its head. There are also four black spots by its tail. The fall armyworm really likes to eat leaves, which leads to poor growth and stop the maize from producing its cob. The fully grown caterpillar will, when old, fall to the ground and hide under the soil, where it becomes a dark brown pupa. After 12 to 14 days, an adult moth can come out from the pupa. The cycle then starts all over again. The female moth is a strong flyer and will quickly spread over a large area. She has a lifespan of two to three weeks before dying and can lay 1,000 eggs in this time. To see the to amount, see of, the amount the of destruction the full, full armyworm worm can do, Dickens has brought, has brought me to meet, to meet Titus, Titus, a local, a local farmer, farmer in Vihiga County. County. Wow, wow, this is total destruction. Yes, this is the kind of infestation that the farmers get in their fields. It's like everywhere. Every single plant is uh, literally infested and damaged. So there's no part of the maize uh, it spares? No, there's no part of the maize that it spares. Mm -hmm. It will feed on the leaves, it will feed on the flower, and it will even feed on the cob. Now, where is this farmer of ours? Titus. Titus! <laughs> yeah, I am. How are you? 
Fine, sir. When did this begin? The end year of 2017. Yes. Is when these worms were, were started being seen. Mm -hmm. But uh, when it reached 2018, then the destruction was now bigger. Dickens, we have seen the damage and this looks bad. But can we actually see the worm itself? Can you see this? This has a fresh damage signs. Yes. And oh yes, here it is. Oh, oh you there you are, the you. How many worms does it take to destroy a whole? Crop? They could have been many. They could have been even five on one plant. Mm. But uh, as they grow big, the the bigger ones eat even the the, the smaller ones. So you end up when you are checking now, you can only get one larva. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that in the beginning it, it was one. It mm. could have been. They, they, they could have been many, but for now, because this is a big one, yes. you will only find one on this particular plant. And at what stage is this for now? This is now the fifth stage. So now it's almost to... almost pupating. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Sixth stage and then it pupates. Then the cycle starts all then over the, again. Yes, then the cycle starts all over again. When you notice the, the, the worm in your maze, what did you do first? I tried the pesticide mm. in order to control the damages. Mm. But I, when I apply, I applied it the first time, the worms disappeared. But after two to three weeks, I observed and found out that they had come back. Oh, they didn't go away at all. Maybe they died, but there were some remnants mm -hmm. of those small ones. The survivors. Yes, the there were survivors. With the manusura. Yes. Manusura wana kuanga kila mahali. To fight back against fall armyworm, you can plant desmodium in between your maize and napier grass or brachiaria grass around your plot. This is called the push-pull method. For more information on what to do if you discover fall armyworm, please contact us via iShamba or get in touch with Isipe on 020-863-2000.